Most people use Summerlin completely wrong. Wrong dose, wrong timing, wrong schedule. They are throwing that money away and it's killing their results. In this video, I'll show you how to optimize this peptide for maximum results without even touching synthetic HGH. I will break down exactly how it works, the science behind each protocol and how to stack time and cycle it for the real results. So let's get into it. Hi, I'm Jay Patel, a certified physician assistant. I specialize in hormone optimization, performance improvement and weight loss. What Samorlin does at the cellular level. Samorlin is a synthetic analog of growth hormone releasing hormone or GHRH. It's not a growth hormone itself. It's a signal peptide. It works by binding to receptors in the pituitary gland, stimulating your body's own natural growth hormone production. That's important because instead of bypassing the body's regulation like synthetic HGH does, Samorlin allows the normal feedback loop to stay intact. When Samorlin activates the pituitary, it increases the growth hormone pulses, especially at night. The GH then gets converted by the liver into IGF-1 or insulin-like growth factor 1 which is responsible for most of the growth hormone effects. This effect includes increased lean muscle mass, fat oxidation and reduced visceral fat, improved deep sleep and REM sleep, tissue repair, especially post-training, cognitive protection via neurogenesis, and anti-aging support through mitochondrial signaling. Growth hormone is secreted in pulses not steadily, so the way you dose Samorlin must mimic this natural pulsatile rhythm. If you overstimulate the receptor, you lose sensitivity. If you underdose, you see no results. Next, we'll break down each protocol. There are three main ways to dose Samorlin. Nightly, pulse therapy, and cyclical protocol. Each serves a different goal. The first one is nightly protocol. This is a standard protocol for Samorlin. This classic protocol is 200 to 300 microgram injected sub-Q at night right before bed, daily. Why at night? Because that's when your body naturally release growth hormone during the first 90 minutes of sleep, especially deep wave sleep. By aligning your circadian rhythm, you amplify the body's own growth hormone pulse. This works well for people with low baseline growth hormone, disrupted sleep, or over the age of 50. Number two is pulse protocol. This is more for the advanced user. Instead of daily use, this protocol uses Samorlin five days per week, often paired with another GHRP like Ipamorlin. Pulse dosing allows the pituitary to reset in between injections. It mimics the body's own natural growth hormone pulsatility which is essential for preventing receptor desensitization. This protocol is ideal for people looking to build muscle strength and performance with less long-term suppression. And the third one is cyclical protocol. This is longevity focused. This method rotates eight to 12 weeks on and four weeks off. You allow full receptor recovery and maintain long-term pituitary responsiveness. Cyclical use may reduce the risk of IGF-1 overexpression, which is linked to accelerated aging if push too high for too long. Which one is the best for you? That depends on your age, IGF-1 level, training intensity and goals. So when to inject Samorlin? Always inject Samorlin on an empty stomach at least 90 minutes after your last meal. Why? Because insulin and glucose suppresses growth hormone release. Post meal injection can reduce the growth hormone pulse by up to 50%. Inject right before sleep or 30 minutes before training if you are using as a pulse stimulator. Where to inject? So subcutaneous abdominal fat is ideal. It allows for gradual absorption and sustained growth hormone stimulation. Avoid intramuscular injection unless specifically combined with the fast-acting GHRPs. And how to mix it for proper dosing? Reconstitute 3 mg of Samorlin with 1.5 ml of bacteriostatic water. That gives you about 200 microgram per 10 units of insulin syringe. Stored in a refrigerator for up to 30 days and always use the sterile technique. So there are multiple ways to choose the right protocol for Samorlin injection. Number one is based on your age. So if you're under 35 year old, pulse or cyclical works best. 35 to 50, nightly or pulsed, depending on the sleep and recovery. And over the age of 50, nightly for eight to 12 weeks and then cycle off. Number two is based on your IGF-1 level. Low level with less than 100 NG per ml, nightly dosing for 12 weeks. Mid-range, which is 100 to 200 NG per DL, pulse or nightly protocol works the best. In high to normal range, consider peptide stacking or modulation instead of increasing the dose. Number three is based on your goals. If your goal is fat loss and sleep, nightly protocol. If your goal is muscle building, pulse protocol plus resistant training. And if you're more focused on longevity, cyclical use with lifestyle support. And number four is based on other hormones. 
If you are also on testosterone therapy or testosterone replacement therapy, monitor estradiol because growth hormone can indirectly raise aromatase activity. Make sure you check the labs periodically because balance is the key to get the best results. So stacking Samorlin with other peptides. The first stack, Samorlin with Ipamorlin. This combination hits both GHRH and ghrelin receptors. It enhances growth hormone pulse amplitude and duration. Use 300 microgram of each five times a week. Number two, Samorlin with CJC1295, no DAC. This prolongs growth hormone releasing window. It's useful for flattened nighttime growth hormone rhythm. Number three, Samorlin with glycine. This natural amino acid boosts growth hormone during sleep. Combined with Samorlin, they increase growth hormone output and recovery. Number four is Samorlin with berberin. This combination improves insulin sensitivity. Lower insulin equals stronger growth hormone response. This combo supports body recomposition when used with proper training and nutrition. Next is growth hormone optimization with nutrition, sleep, and lifestyle optimization. Number one, sleep. Growth hormone is released in deep sleep, mostly the first 90 minutes. Protect your sleep hygiene. No screen time two hours before bed. No alcohol or caffeine late in the day. Maintain consistent bedtime. Consider magnesium or glycine for deeper REM sleep. Number two is training. Resistant training stimulate growth hormone, especially compound lifts. Training four to five days per week, focus on progression and recovery. Number three, macronutrient. Growth hormone is blunted by carbs. Try high protein, moderate fat and low carb dinner if injecting at night. Number four, micronutrients. Zinc, vitamin D, B12 and magnesium all support growth hormone production. Deficiency will reduce Samorlin's effect. So make sure you optimize all the nutrients and improve your overall lifestyle for the maximum benefit. And the last thing, is Samorlin mistakes to avoid. Number one, injecting after meal. Insulin and carbs shut down growth hormone. Always inject on an empty stomach. Number two, never cycling off. Constant stimulation can reduce receptor sensitivity. Use pulse or cyclical protocol to maintain long-term results. Number three, relying on IGF-1 labs only. IGF lab levels are helpful, but doesn't capture sleep quality or recovery. Track outcome holistically. Number four, ignoring stress and inflammation. Cortisol blunts growth hormone release. Manage stress with proper sleep, adoptogen, and recovery. Improve your overall lifestyle for the maximum results. If you are going to use Samorlin, use it right. Understand the sign, pick the right protocol. Support it with sleep, nutrition, and training. And don't chase the dose, chase the signal. And make sure you follow up with your medical provider. Make sure you are keeping yourself healthy. If you find this video helpful, subscribe for more deep dive videos like this. I am Jay Patel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.